Greetings! In this video I'm going to show you how to allow students to pick their own groups within eClass using the Group Choice tool. First navigate to your course and click on the Course Management icon on the top left. Next click on Groups under User Links. Scroll down and create at least two groups. Give them a name and save at the bottom. Now that you have at least two groups created, return to your course. Turn editing on and navigate to a tab you wish to add this in. Scroll down and click on Add Activity or Resource. From the list provided, select Group Choice. You can name this however you wish to use it, such as Pick your group for this course or activity, however you may wish to use it. Give any details that you wish. Pick one group. Display it on the course page if you wish. You can allow enrollment to multiple groups if you want students to be able to see both groups. You can have students see these results. After they've picked their answer, always showing the students, so before they've picked, and show results only after, after this is closed. You can publish so anyone sees these, or do not show the students' names, so they do not know who they are working with right away. These can be updated if they wish to choose to change their group. You can allow for that. You can show a column of unanswered, of students who have not answered just yet. Filter out response data for users with expired or suspended accounts. This will prevent users that are dropped from the course from sh being shown on that list. And then you can also limit the number of responses allowed to be enabled to be one so that students can only pick one. As seen in the description here. You can pick the groups that they are allowed to choose by clicking them and holding control to select both at the same time or clicking one and click add groups one by one. You can restrict answering to, to a time period so they have between the 17th of May and the 25th of May roughly a week to be able to answer this. Saving and returning to course will save those settings and you will be able to review those at the bottom of your course by clicking on it. Students will also be able to click on the same name, click on a choice, and see their group members. Thank you for watching.